Springtime means fashion and a flurry of sales, a good portion of which goes each year to the Lacoste Company, whose famous alligator trademark is a mark not only of status, but commercial success. In 1981 alone, 30 million alligator items were sold for a total of $450 million. With figures like that, it's understandable that Lacoste is determined to protect this species and why they're upset by this dead alligator found on similar clothing produced by a company calling itself LaCroque. Lacoste is suing LaCroque for any profits made on the shirts, plus damages for alleged trademark infringement. LaCroque Vice President Donald Salisbury won't reveal his profits uh, well, and insists his emblem is distinct. I don't feel that they're confusing. I've never sold one to anyone um, that has been confused. Although Salisbury has been selling his shirt since 1979, Lacoste has had its alligator registered here at the U.S. Patent Office since 1958 and claims that the trademark covers all alligator-like creatures, including crocodiles and some lizards. The test for infringement, according to a trademark official, is whether the two emblems look enough alike to cause deception. The issue itself is rather humorous, a federal court having to decide who has the right to an upside-down dead alligator. But neither Lacoste nor Lacroque sees the humor. Stone Phillips, ABC News, Roanoke.